Irish masters of Mysterioso, Ultravox are in Australia. And here they are being mysterious with Molly. The sounds that have been sort of emerging uh, over 1981. Uh, how do you see it going in the next day, 12 months? Through the window, probably. <laughs> uh, the, 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 <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, whole, the whole thing that emerged in the last couple of years, um, it, it, it started off being fairly fresh, it was very exciting, uh, and then the, uh, the media took over and, and tagged it, the new romantic cult, or the cult with no name, or, or whatever it was that, that they were going to call it at the time, and just killed everything that was happening at the time. So all of it, now all the bands that are, that are termed as you know new romantic mm. bands or whatever are all like second and third generation. Well, um, well, in that last interview, well, Chris, I mean, in that last interview, you did say the whole band collectively said that you hated labels being put on any group. Um, I mean, do you think it's fair that that happens? I mean, it's it's, 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 it's just one. It's something that you can't actually uh, change because if someone's trying to describe something, they always use a simile. Right. The papers in England tend tend to need something like that to make it seem like something's happening, you know, right. now, now it's, it's this, it's new romantic, you know. Yeah, they, they sort of invent the cult to, to keep, keep a you know, stimulus going right. for, the, for the magazine. And um, you find uh, groups um, trying to um, uh, talk themselves out of that label but when they do features, you know, for example, said Duran Duran. You know, all, all those features were just like, oh, we've got nothing to do in New Romantic. Right. It's just, it's a tag. Yeah. Well, it was a big, um, it was almost like as you said, this will be the mill production. Uh, the story in that is pretty heavy, <coughs> I feel. Um, well, it's just it's it's the whole thing of it using um, using a vehicle to put across um, a, a different aspect of the song. I mean, the song doesn't necessarily have to be about what the film's about. The film is more or less a parody on the song. You know, right. we, we hate telling people, uh, well, this is what we wrote it about, and you know, if you if you've got it wrong, you're wrong. You know, that's not. Right. So we we always do parodies on on the song. Um, and the, the best way of, sort of depicting the different types of voice was to make it fairly uh, religious, make it very, very grand, mm -hmm. you know? Everyone's searching for, for something that, that you don't actually know what you're going for, you know? With, with, the, yeah, with the listening to the song and then looking at the film clip, one could think that uh, Ultravox are in fact making a political statement. Is that right or wrong? Well, we're a very apolitical band. I mean, there's thousands of bands out there right. who are trying to do that kind of thing. And they do it badly. I don't think yeah. anyone does that does that well. well. Now I've got to ask you two absurd questions. Um, after seeing you in all these film clips, are the four of you frustrated actors? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Um, yeah. And do you enjoy sort of working in a film like that, or playing parts? Very much so, yeah. yeah. It's fun. It's great. It takes you away from music for a little while. It's, it's, it's fine for us, an ideal situation, because we've written the music for images in our head. It's just like sort of doing it backwards. Right. Uh, then we do the visuals. We're talking about soundtracks. I've got a, a telegram over there from Chris Cross in America, and he asked if he could give back his royalties to <laughs> 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 now, can you tell the story because that is quite yeah um it's because of the name the, the confusion with the name in england i get paid all these prs royalties that's why and we can afford to do all these videos <laughs> <laughs>